Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we are doing the recording of today's, that is 27th of September's God is Blessing, where Supreme Father wants us to be ignorant of any desire, limited desire. You see, limited desires, if you have ichai or desires, they don't let us become acha or good. We don't have a good personality. If I want something and I want something only for myself, then it becomes difficult and if you've got limited desires then we are actually wary we have got a lot of fear we got a lot of anxiety and we have a lot of uh, jealousy comparison competition we look at each other and what that person has i don't have and that is what is leading to the world to become a little sick mentally or ill mentally you see people might be very rich and very popular but uh, you know somewhere down the line if they are not helped a lot of people grow in life I'm not talking about financially or any other way. I'm talking about spiritually. Then there's a little bit of sickness inside. A desire for name fame is a sickness. A desire for things and money to be happy. And only then I'll be happy. And only I want it then is a sickness. So God says over here that may you be ignorant of any knowledge of desire. And finish all limited desires. Limited desires, any material desires are limited desires. Even name fame cannot be put into physicality but as a desire and a limited desire all limited desires by staying stable in your self-respect so if i am a soul i'm neither hungry my body is hungry i'm neither rich or poor financially physically i may look rich or poor and neither i'm neither fair or dark my body skin is fair or dark not me so then god says those who maintain their self-respect have neither have any desire for limited respect. Oh, you're looking so good today. Oh, you're looking handsome today. No, 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 no. If you are in self-realization, who you really are, then all those comments on your physical form, your clothes, doesn't matter to you. You're beyond all that because today you might be looking young. Tomorrow you will get old. Then if you're so dependent upon your physical looks and the... And if you're dependent upon how people look at you and they comment upon you, I bet you at the age of 70, 80, nobody's going to comment. And that time, if you've got a habit of craving for that kind of attention, and then it's going to be difficult for you to even accept yourself. So the true self-respect is a spiritual self-respect which is not dependent upon any physical changes. Because your body is going to change, my body is going to change. Your wealth is going to change, my wealth is going to change. And everything around us is going to change. But the soul remains the same. The infinite spark, the infinite energy, the quantum field remains the same. It's still infinite. So don't limit yourself with your physical roop and rung or your form and color. So then God says, be in true respect. All limited desires are merged in your self-respect. And there is no need to ask for anything. Give me this, give me that. Limited desires can never be fulfilled. Have you ever felt contentment thinking and running after limited desires? never because they can never be fulfilled one limited desire will create many more desires if i have this what if i had that also whereas self-respect easily finishes all desires i am not identified by my looks by my money by my clothes by my car by my wealth i am identified and remembered by how i treated people how i behaved around people how i respected people even if people don't say so but for my own peace i shall do so god then says therefore be one who has self-respect and you will become one who is an embodiment of all attainments all attainments here include non-physical attainments love non-physical happiness is non-physical peace is non-physical patience is non-physical joy is non-physical bliss is non-physical so where are you looking for all of these things in the limited or the unlimited. God then says, you will become one who is embodiment of all attainment, attainments. You will become ignorant of any lack of attainment and desires. Even if somebody in front of you buys a new car, buys a new thing, it won't matter to you. Even if somebody makes a four story next to you, it won't matter to you because you are easy with yourself. You are so practiced in soul consciousness and how do you do that soul conscious practice? The real self-practice is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris and you can attend that 1st of October course, an introductory session where we are going to touch about this, the limited versus the unlimited. 
what do we want to connect to and with this om shanti